is the joy for me. I love bread. What? So Oprah Winfrey is being problematic once again. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why people are mad at Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey recently is because she has bamboozled the public for years now, for decades, uh, with Weight Watchers. She presented Weight Watchers to her massive cult-like fan base years ago and proclaimed it to be the best way to lose weight, even though her own weight has fluctuated and bloomed and decreased over the years. I don't deny myself bread. I have bread every day. I have bread every day. That's the genius of this program. I lost 26 pounds and I have eaten bread every single day. I believe you. And now she's she's backing off. She's saying no, it, it didn't work actually. And she's I think the rumor, I don't know if she's actually confirmed it. The rumor is that she is on Ozempic. <laughs> And she did this sort of like special, this weight loss body positivity special that just seemed like a very long Ozempic commercial. And I think Weight Watchers is also coming out with their own form of Ozempic. And so it would have been like a conflict of interest. So she had to drop uh, out of um, Weight Watchers. So basically the gig is up that Oprah Winfrey was just an influencer and she would just up uh, pushed a product onto you that didn't work simply because she was financially benefiting from it. I'm not gonna say Weight Watchers didn't work. Maybe for some people it did work, but it didn't work for her. So Oprah Winfrey financially gained like hundreds of millions of dollars from pushing Weight Watchers because she was on a board and she had, I think, stocks and she had some stock in uh, Weight Watchers. And as soon as she pulled out of it, the stock plummeted and that's when she decided to sell her shares um, as if she's a good person, even though she admitted the only reason why she donated the rest of her shares once the shares in the stocks plummeted to the African American Museum is simply because she didn't want to be canceled or criticized, not because she's such a good person. The biggest thing that's been in the news lately is Oprah has been a shareholder and board member for Weight Watchers for nine years. 2015, she announced that she partnered with Weight Watchers after being approached by them and liking their goal message, whatever it may be. Her partnership with the company netted over $221 million, which is crazy. Oprah has done a very good job trying to really appeal to people's emotion to to join Weight Watchers in spite of, you know, being heavily paid, heavily profiting off of all this. In March of 2024, Oprah Winifrey announced that she was leaving the board of directors and selling and or donating her remaining shares of Weight Watchers, completely leaving the company behind in the era of diet pills, such as Ozempic. Stock price hadn't been good since the whale and jumped overboard. Whale, I mean, sh shareholder. I'm not trying to be like offensive or whatever, but quite literally it's gone down nearly 100%. It's not good, it's pretty bad. So the company had to actually issue a financial statement about this to the SEC. It was that big of a deal. The peak stock price was $102 in 2018, the golden Oprah era of Weight Watchers. That's what we call it. Oprah decided to end her partnership with Weight Watchers because she started to use diet pills. Oprah Winfrey deciding to step down from the board of Weight Watchers after nine years, sending its stock plummeting and raising questions about its future. Days after the Globes in January, she revealed after decades of dieting, she has been taking a weight loss drug. By the way, Weight Watchers also has drug medications for weight loss. Oprah didn't want people to believe she was profiting off of drugs by endorsing those drugs through Weight Watchers. Specifically, she doesn't name any drug. It's a miracle, whatever whatever she says. Drugs like Ozempic. She's probably not allowed to endorse anything for a certain period of time after leaving the Weight Watchers board because it could be a very bad look. I also mentioned that she's selling slash donating the rest of her share. She's doing that to the National Museum of A African American History. I donated all of my shares to the National Museum of African American History. Oh, I've History. been to that museum. That's Isn't a great right? yeah. So nobody can say, oh, she's doing that special. She's promoting making money thing. and promoting her. No, you cannot say that. And this is so nobody can say that she's doing it for a profit or she's making money. Even though she sold the majority of her shares in 2018 and 2021. <laughs> when it was at an all-time high. She only generated personal proceeds of $286 million. <laughs> Saint. She purchased them for about six seventy nine dollars a share and she sold them and it profited about $735,000, which was donated, which is still awesome. That's a lot of money, but like, you know, she made $286 million. Seems like a bit of a fucking rug pull if you ask me, Oprah. What a fucking but there's a lots and lots of reasons, a myriad of reasons that people have said that uh, Oprah Winfrey was problematic for years. The same thing with Harvey Weinstein or P. Diddy. There's a lot of celebrities who have come out and complained about Oprah being toxic and problematic. But one of the bigger stories that's sort of like resurfacing but has been around for a while is why does Oprah tend to hang out with a lot of predators? Like she tends to be in the same circle or, have, or befriend men 
who have been exposed as being creepy predators traffickers assaulters cult leaders like why is this oprah winfrey's thing you know like birds of a feather flock together and i understand like sometimes celebrities get caught in the same red carpet or plane or island as some as some other predators simply because they just like run in the same circles they're all celebrities it doesn't mean that they're attached to them in any shape way shape or form and it doesn't mean that they approve of their behavior but oprah winfrey has like befriended and has gone out of the way to introduce predators support predators and protect predators at some point do you support and protect them because you approve of their behavior and what they're doing behind closed doors and are you maybe participating in those things Allegedly. She really liked Harvey Weinstein. You look like friends. That dude's such a piece of shit, bro. I fucking hate that guy. More than 90 women, including McGowan, have come forward to accuse the once powerful movie mogul of acts ranging from sexual misconduct to... This is an international list, okay? This is the truth of what it is. This is an international factory. Every single place he ever stayed, there are people there set up to help him... This is how it went. This is what it was. Rose McGowan, a victim of Harvey Weinstein, does not like Oprah. She even ended her vitriolic tweet with the hashtag lizard, which makes sense. Now, how did fucking Oprah respond to all this drama and allegations? She said that Harvey was a bully. Classic. Oprah says she was bullied by Harvey Weinstein. What the fuck? Oprah Winfrey recalls Harvey Weinstein's bully. You were friends with him. What are you talking about? Now we get to potentially the most interesting thing because we almost made a video about this a little while ago. There's a fellow named John of God. This self-proclaimed spiritual guru claims to perform miracles and heal the sick, attracting thousands of people seeking relief from their suffering. However, his practices are far from divine. John of God has built a thriving business, making tens of millions of dollars by preying on people's hope for healing. His healing is nothing but free, leaving many people scammed and cheated out of their money. Oprah's relationship with this guy, John of God, it's even worse than her relationship with her. It's worse than every single possible thing. If this is your basis of rationality, it makes sense why people have so many conspiracy theories uh, about Oprah being a part of some kind of grand cabal or something evil. And he was Oprah Winfrey's healer. John of God gained international attention when he was featured on the Oprah Winfrey show in 2010 and later interviewed by Oprah herself in 2012 when she visited his healing center in Abidiania. But also one of the most notorious predators in the history of mankind. He was horrible and used the claim of, of healing women as a vessel for just uh, being evil, being evil. And uh, he abused a bunch of different people, children, people from nine years old up to 60 and up. On December 7th, 2018, Brazilian journalist Pedro Bial interviewed 10 women on his talk show Conversa Com Bial, who claimed to have been sexually abused by John of God. This interview marked a turning point in the public perception of John of God and led to his arrest and eventual conviction on multiple counts of assault. He also ran a trafficking ring. He sold babies to childless families for up to $50,000, and Oprah seemed to really like him a lot. Have you all heard of John of God? My visit with him is next week. Really fascinating. So John of God, Oprah rabbit hole is deep and long and scary. John of God is a very, 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 very scary, evil piece of shit human being that is just like, uh, you know, it's... It's it's an atrocity. It's ridiculous that this is a thing, and then and then somehow it ties into fucking Oprah. Dude, what the? F I'm just waiting for like the surviving Oprah documentary to drop because it's coming. There's no way that you are friends with this many gross people and these many predators, and there's been these many, these many rumors about you for years and years and years, and none of it's true. Where there's smoke, there's fire. So I'm looking at Oprah Winfrey side eye. Yeah, right now she's in trouble for the whole exempt Weight Watchers thing, but she's been problematic for a really long time, and it's really, really, it's very scary to me and really strange to me how people worship and idolize another human being. How so many people worshipped Oprah to the point where Oprah was selling her saliva, they would have guzzled that shit down. And it's not just Oprah, like Beyonce or Candace Owens or any of these fucking like conservative talking heads or celebrities where people like idolize and worship another human being where they don't even know you exist. It's some sort of weird thing and I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's called. I'm sure there's some sort of deep dive essay video on it. Some sort of doctor or psychiatrist have come out and coined it because I don't understand it. It's some sort of, it feels like a mental health issue, like a mental health crisis where you literally worship a person like it is your God where everything that comes out of their mouth and everything they sell you, you just <laughs> swallow it up so quickly without even thinking. I don't get it. I don't understand that type of mentality, but like you are worshiping a woman who are 
where her best friends are fucking pedos, where her best friends are fucking predators, where her best friends are fucking assaulters, where her best friends are fucking traffickers, allegedly. And I do think sometimes it is a direct reflection on the people, like the people you idolize to me is a direct reflection of you. And it doesn't mean like you under, you know the ins and vice of the dirty little things that they're doing behind closed doors, but it's been enough stuff that's come out about Oprah Winfrey over the years where you kind of know something's not right and you still choose to worship her. And again, it's not just her, it's lots of celebrities, political talking heads, politicians, pastors and preachers, popes that people just idolize like their lord god and savior on their fucking knees and just swear by every word that leaves their fucking mouths stop doing that whether it's christianity hindu buddhism islam it is much better than worshiping a fucking celebrity that doesn't give a fuck about you and yeah a lot of political talking heads they're just celebrities too anyway that's it guys short little video i just wanted to point that out that oprah Winfrey once again is in the news for being problematic just take the woman down already expose the shit expose the skeletons let's get rid of all these fucking freaking celebrities i know if it ever comes out that she like the surviving oprah documentary ever drops i know people are gonna be like oh my god you're just like taking down a strong black woman i don't care Care what the color of your fucking skin is i don't care what kind of pop star you are I, like people still worship michael jackson and deny that his behavior was inappropriate with children because he's a pop star like you say that shit to yourself out loud like say that shit to yourself out loud. people are protecting p diddy because p diddy made pop songs talking about oh my god but it was it's a part of the culture no you just made pop songs that's all it is it's that fucking surface level that you will protect a predator because they made pop songs that you liked like it's weird people are weird people are disgusting so the one of the reasons why a lot of this behavior keeps perpetuating with celebrities is because the audience who follow them allow it to keep happening enable their behavior by continuously making them rich anyway guys that's it please like comment subscribe hit the bell get the notifications when i do upload all that really does help with the algorithm guys you can support this channel by donating my paypal and cash app link is in the description box below in the comment section you get super thanks and you guys have an amazing beautiful day